Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I've been to a few antique places um, in Bridge North and uh, I thought I'd show you what I've got, what I've bought. We'll start with this little uh, Ned Noodle advertising man pot noodle, five quid. He's cool. Well, I think he's cool. Um, I've got this uh, Chevy gearbox money box. Got some more white in here and the boot. I'll show you on the back. So you can lift up the boot and there's a little suitcase where you can put the money. And then underneath you take the tow bar off and that's the key for underneath to take the money out. So that was 15 quid. Really cool. I think it's 19, late 1990s. So I got that. What else did I get? So I got this sold sign, a 1960s car dealership sign. And um, it's got on it hills. I got that to 12 quid, that was 16. I think that's really good. I might even keep that. I think I probably will. But yeah, that's good. I've got a little Lego tub. That was six quid. been buying quite a few clocks in the last few months it's just a bit of tape on this on the glass uh, this one is Hanson Aiden Forest made in Britain um, got the fruit on the front there nice kitchen clock really really good condition and that was 10 quid I bought some little Thunderbird badges. Which are really nice. They've got Thunderbird stamped on all over the place at the back. Then was four quid pound each. Something, not the sort of clock I usually buy, but it was only a fiver. So, I mean, she's working as well. Yeah. So I can list that fairly cheap. Got, so this one was 50 quid, but I do love my Smith's clock. And this is a, oh no, this is the Abbey uh, made in England clock. This was a tenor. Uh, sweeping seconds on it as well. Which is really cool. Quite noisy. Um, what do they call them? Like, Ships clocks quite come out quite a bit. Well, that's nice. A little bit loose, needs a bit of a tweak. And this is the Smith's clock. I think this is nineteen sixties. Uh, bike light material around the surround and that is a really nice thing that was uh, 50 quid now oh, 55 down from 65 so you can just press that there and that will lift up the 
if to, to wind it. British clock. Just give it a little wind. And there she goes. I don't know how you set the time. Oh, looks like we've got to undo it all to adjust the time. But yeah, what a nice thing. You've got the speed control there, so if you're losing so many minutes a day, you know, you can very slightly change the, the speed. So 55 quid, proper, proper heavy. Yeah, so that's that's the little bits that I bought today. And I bought something I'm going to show you from Bilston, my um, local uh, antique shop. And I'll show you this. So this is the uh, Ghostbusters light up sign. So switch that light off. And which one do I need to switch off? That one. Are you ready? Look at that. Look at that. Ain't that a nice thing? I think that's worth £30 all day long. Right, so that's the stuff that I bought today and the Ghostbusters sign I got yesterday um, and also yesterday I bought a salvage bike so I'll just go and get that out of the car and I'll show you that next right so this is the Facebook marketplace special you'll have to excuse the fan if you can hear that it's it's quite cold so this was on Facebook Marketplace for 100 quid and on the pictures you couldn't see any of this green stuff and um, you couldn't see any any damages anywhere and it was just listed for 100 quid, no battery, no motor on the back um, and I thought you know what, for 100 quid that's, that's not bad, you know you've got the frame You've got the forks, the handlebars, the front wheel, tyre, pedals, the battery mount. So I went there and um, I instantly noticed that it's been jumped on at the back. So you can see the gap there in the, where the rear wheel will go. For the back wheel it should be probably twice as wide so it's been, it's been destroyed. Um, so I said to the person, you know, there's a big chunk of the big chunk of that money, is, you know, that in that frame's gone. So, you know, I said I still have it, but I can only give you thirty quid. Um, and the woman phones up a a chap. He was obviously at it for for nothing, I would imagine. And he said, yeah, let, let him take it. So, for thirty quid, it was a good deal. And the forks don't look like them have been ruined. It's just the frame. The seat's mint. The rack might go again. We've got a mud guard, the crank, sun tour crank. So yeah, there's plenty, plenty left in that. Um, what Halfords do is when a bike like this needs more parts than it's worth, they spray paint them damage it and chuck it out for the scrap man so i can almost guarantee that's what's happened to this shame really but that's that's what these companies do they uh do destroy quite a lot of good stuff so yeah that one's to be stripped down and obviously the frame will be chucked away salvage all the good stuff uh, 
Um, and one last thing. I've got this on one, as you know, in the, uh, I think two videos back. I've got this from Penkridge Bike Jumble for 200 quid. Carbon frame. All, uh, all singing, all dancing. Dual brakes, rock shocks, dual gears. Really nice bike. And it's been sat here just because I can't bring myself to to break it, but I probably will. Unless you're interested in a video of me stripping it down, checking the, the whole frame over and rebuilding it. So a bit of a fault find video, a service, and maybe a few upgrades on it. I'm not interested in changing it to a one by system. I think I wanna leave it original. And then I'll see how she rides, but it's <laughs> it's my size and it's just like when am I gonna come across another one for that sort of money? Just you just don't get them that that often. I wouldn't have thought you'd have much change from fifteen hundred when that was new. So yeah, if you're interested, uh drop us a comment. Try and get my views up a little bit. On the videos get some interaction and uh, I'll be gl more than glad to, to spend a day on it for you so that's it for this one just a quick video um, of the stuff that I've bought recently um, thanks for watching and uh, like subscribe comment and I'll see you soon and bye for now.